Okay, boys and girls, mommies and daddies, here we go. We're going to show you where the hard set screw is for the throttle stop for the throttle butterfly. This is your throttle body right here. This is a cover for the throttle cables. And uh, this is on the right hand side of the bike. What you want to do, first of all, is there's an Allen screw. You want to take this Allen screw out. and pull your cover off. Alright, when you pull the cover off, got the Allen screw out, it exposes your throttle cables, your push-pull cables. This is the shaft that runs through the throttle body which the butterfly is screwed to. On the other end of the shaft, on the other side of the carburetor, is the throttle plate sensor. So when you turn the throttle, the butterfly opens up and at the same time it changes the voltage readings on your throttle plate sensor. Throttle, the hard stop means exactly what it implies, what it says. Hard stop. Right there when you come down to no throttle it's hitting up against this screw right here. That's the hard stop. That adjustment right there is it sets how far at closed throttle that the butterfly is actually open. And how to adjust that is basically you take and use an 8 millimeter wrench you put it on the nut right here and you loosen the nut up. Once you get the nut loosened up then what you can do is your Allen wrench will basically fit into the bottom of the screw like so and then you can loosen the screw. If you loosen the screw, it closes the butterfly. If you tighten the screw, if you turn it counterclockwise, it opens the butterfly. Turning it clockwise from this position closes the butterfly. As you're opening and closing the butterfly, obviously it changes voltage readings on the throttle plate sensor. Then what you want to do is if you've got your eye bead hooked up, you want to go to the section to where the calibration for the uh, throttle plate sensor and then what you do is you want to turn that screw until at wide open throttle the voltage reading is on they might be different on different ones but for me to get 100.2 at wide open throttle my voltage readings were 1001 so basically you turn that setting until, and after every time that you turn it, what you want to do is hit the set button so both values are the same on your screen, on your IB. If one value says 100.1 and the other says 976, when you hit the set button, both values will then say 100.1 or whatever it is that you've adjusted it to. From that point, you go back to the main screen, which is a big uh, board to where it's not the gauges, it doesn't show the gauges, but it actually shows the numerical values. And on a throttle plate sensor, you turn your throttle wide open and you want it to read 100.2 to 100.4 according to um, uh, MAPS calculations, which I used and it worked out perfect that sort of thing. Once you can ascertain 100.2 or 100.4 by turning the screw here and then recalibrating everything then what you want to do is you take and what I would recommend is you put your Allen wrench in here so the screw doesn't move man when you get my age you can't see real good okay you put that in there so the Allen, the Allen screw doesn't move and then tighten up your lock nut so you lock it down. Then when you lock it down, go back and check and make sure everything stayed the same. Once everything has stayed the same and there's no changes and everything is locked down, from that point on, <coughs> go back, put your cover back on,
Put your Allen screw back in. Tighten it back down. Wango Tango. That is where the hard stop adjusting screw is on the Makuni fuel injection throttle body.